Hey guys, and welcome to Minecraft. This is AGV Beast from All Around Gaming Vids. Hopefully this is the first time you're viewing this video or viewing any videos of mine. Hello, what's up? I just want to say, you know guys, hit that subscribe button. This is in fact Minecraft. The thing that everyone's been doing lately besides Black Ops. I've watched people from Machinima Respawn do this. And it looks pretty awesome, looks intense. Keep in mind, guys, this game is very CPU-intensive because it's a sandbox game. So if you see glitch, lagginess, any, anything like that, please be mindful. And I'm doing the best I can. I have my graphics turned down so it's not, like, outstanding. So that's why it, it doesn't look the greatest, but it still represents what is Minecraft. First, this is going to be a guide for people that are just starting out first time they played this game. Uh, first thing you want to do is stay near where you spawn, because if you die later in the game, that's where it's going to respawn you. So, first of all, you see me gather some dirt just by holding down the clicker. I do that. Main thing, guys, wood is your number one resource, so you're going to want to do that. The goal of this game is to create and survive, so I'm gathering wood so I can make a toolbox. And you'll see me go into my inventory here after I gather some wood. But how you go into your inventory is you press the I button. And uh, the move, the jump is WASD plus the space bar. It's pretty standard. The controls to, uh, you see a little bar just below my hearts which represent my health. That's my inventory hotkey things. You don't really have to key them. But the way you switch it between those is you scroll the middle mouse wheel. And that's how you can switch in between that, so you can put weapons, resources, whatever you want. Right now, you hit, see me hit I, I place all of those in there, and I click on the end product, which is the refined wood, and you just keep clicking it, and it makes four per thing. You right click to put those in there, you draw out, draw out a little box, so it's a crafting table. And the crafting table is what you, is like gonna be the foundation of what you build your house around. Because that's how you build your tools. You right click on that. In Minecraft the way it's set up is you want to draw out your object. So I put two wood. Like one on top of another. And it draws out a stick. So I'm going to go ahead and make a T shape. Which actually makes a pickaxe. But then I decided to switch it back to a shovel here. So two sticks. And then a wood on top equals a shovel. And what shovels are good for is they dig through uh, dirt really easily. And you're going to want to collect dirt to build the walls of your first house to survive the night. I made a sword also there. And, uh, oops, forgot to pick up my stits. <laughs> but, guys, what happens is, is this is just the standard single-player mode of uh, Minecraft. It really has no purpose besides to survive, build, and conquer. <laughs> and, uh... Excuse me. You place down bricks like this by just right clicking. I believe it's right click. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's. Yeah, it's right click. And uh, you're gonna build yourself a house. Cause what happens when it gets dark? Yeah, it has daytime and nighttime in this game. Is zombies come out and they want to kill you. So the goal is to quickly gather your resources for the first night. And. Uh, get those so you can build your house and that's the goal of the whole game like once you survive the first night you're pretty good unless if you start adventuring doing all sorts of other stuff but for the most part you'll be pretty well set and it'll work out good so you see me going back there digging some bricks of dirt out just so I can get the basic foundation of my house believe me guys it's not gonna stay this way forever I'll eventually upgrade the cobblestone and then I'll start making it bigger I might actually move locations but uh in a little bit you'll see me adventure for some resources and one major thing in this game guys is to keep your bearings not get lost try to find things on the way that you can like remember like ooh two willow trees side by side that is my marker on my way back home stuff like that is uh basically so you can remember because, like, sometimes you get lost when you go looking for harder resources to find. You know, like flint and uh, diamond and stuff like that. So you're definitely not going to want to uh, just, like, wander around aimlessly. 
Because if you do, then get start, you don't have a home, you'll end up dying. And, uh, there, you can build torches, you can build all sorts of stuff in this game. So, uh, the next step into my next video is gonna be finding coal, I believe it is, so I can make torches out of my sticks and coal. You can do that right in your inventory, you don't have to go to the creative bots. So, that's kind of like one of your main things. A lot of people start their house where the coal is when they first start off. And so they don't even build a house until they find coal. I find that to be a little risky, but I guess it doesn't matter because you don't have anything invested. If you don't find it, then you die. Because you can just keep wandering around and find coal. Right click on that. That's how you pull up this big table. You don't want to draw out, so I draw out a door with my wood. Pull that down. And I'm going to right click like I would to use a block or place a block to place my door. So come back here, use the middle mouse, right click, and you can just open and close that. It makes it handy so if you need to escape for some random reason or you just need to uh, go out because it turns back daytime, it uh, helps out a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm using my Wii game. Uh, it's It's not really mine. It's a... <laughs> it's a recording system you can get off the internet, and uh, it has problems recording Minecraft because it doesn't recognize it. So you have to like open up Wii game, open up Minecraft, close Wii game, and then open back up Wii game, and then close and then like minimize it, and then it'll start to be able to record. <laughs> I was a little worried at the end because I hit the stop recording and it didn't stop recording, so I was like, was it recording in the first place? <laughs> I need more wood for my resources or whatever I'm doing here. I wish I could make this live commentary. I'm going to do that next time that I uh, start this up. I'm just going to do live commentary. And uh, that, that'll that be a little bit easier on me. Because uh, I won't have to come up with all this stuff in the background. But I just kind of wanted to make this an introduction video so everyone could see kind of like what I do on my spare time all from Black Ops and plus it is all around gaming vids so I did want to stay true to my name and make different gaming videos because some people and me personally too have been kind of getting bored of Black Ops you know you play it so much you only get so much enjoyment <laughs> out of it I pick up random stuff that falls from trees like you see my inventory just above my first spot this second spot up, I can't really show it to you because I was just pointing on my screen with my finger. Obviously, you guys can't see my finger. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you can, like, plant trees and stuff. This game gets really intricate and makes it nice. At this point, I was kind of like, I need to find some coal so I can make torches so I can see at night inside of my house. Because if you don't find any coal to make torches, then you're just going to sit there in the pitch black. You literally won't be able to see it anything. You'll hear zombies outside and shit, and you'll be like, waiting 10 minutes for it to turn back to daytime. <laughs> it's not the funnest thing, surviving the first night. But the game is pretty amazing, I got to say. I have so much fun with it. And another thing is, guys, it's constantly creating the world around you. So, like, as you see me adventuring, I'll get glitch and lag and stuff like that just happened. That's because, like, it uses up a lot of CPU, so does my capturing device. So, it was using, like, double CPU as I was going through here, so it was causing for glitches, you know, and lag and stuff. But, hopefully in my next video, I'll be able to show you what coal looks like for those of you that want to continue and, uh, play this series and, uh, make videos. You can even send me in videos, guys, that you make on your own. I will link them. I might even uh, download them to my computer, do commentary on them for those of you that can only record, can't do commentary. I mean, I'd be glad to, guys. I just want to help out the community. And it definitely, um, my channel, I love you guys on my channel. You're very supportive. I make different videos, and for the most part, you're generally positive, so it makes it really nice. <laughs> it looks funny having an all-dirt house. But here's the point where I decide I'm going to dig to see if there's any coal around my house. And uh, as you see, sand is affected by gravity, so you dig out from underneath it, and drops down. But sand's helpful, so if you get in those sticky situations, you can pop in your inventory, 
Ooh, my, my door fell down because I dug out from underneath it. Didn't realize it was sitting on sand. And, uh, you can block yourself in, so if you're being chased by zombies at night for some reason, if you got stuck in the darkness, block yourself in, wait for light. But guys, there's two different creatures that survive for a long time. One of them's called a exploding penis. It's a green looking zombie that has like two little nub feet and people say it looks like a penis. <laughs> I just go with it because I even see people like C Nanners, if you ever watched him, like professional commentators call them exploding penises. So I guess that's what I technically should call them because I don't even know what they're called. But if they get close to you, they blow up, and I mean, they'll blow up hardcore. If you have a direct hit, it might... Was that just coal right there that I missed? That might have been cobblestone, I'm not sure. But it's starting to get dark, so I know I have to make my move, so I'm going to go ahead, repair my house so I can get into it. And I don't think it's blocking off the tunnel, but that's kind of what I was doing. But guys, if you like this video, and please let me know, thumbs up to this, so I can see how many of you are actually interested in seeing more. Don't worry, definitely more get Black Ops gameplay coming out. But guys, till next time, it's been AGV Beast. Please hit that subscribe button, and uh, enjoy your stay in the world of Minecraft. I'll see you guys later. Till next time, well bam, hit that subscribe. Too much time left on this video. Oh well, thanks again guys, see you later. <laughs>